I'm currently serving in the prayer ministry, the women's cell group, and the discipleship group, uh, Bible study, and also an elder in the church. I've experienced grief and loss in my life when my dad and my mom passed away many years ago. And then um, six years ago, my husband passed away suddenly. You know, there's a pain that's hard to explain. You know, a pain that cuts right into my veins. And also a pain that shakes my emotions so deep that it kind of uh, tears me apart. My husband, Stephen, his death was due to an accident, you know, it's a bicycle accident. And uh, for a moment I was like a zombie, you know, a zombie, I don't know what to do. His death was so sudden, it's so quick, it was so quick that, you know, it's just like he's been just plucked off from the earth. As a disciple of Christ, I think I, I know I have two options. One is to succumb to despair and also grief um, and lose my faith or the other is to is to cling to God and and, and let him lead the way so I chose God I, I chose to be closer to God on oh, that very night that uh, Stephen passed away God um, comforted me by enabling me to to write poems to express my grief I guess I don't have to be afraid of the future because I've not forgotten how long how the Lord had blessed me in the past. When age 23, I decided to be baptized because Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, that seek ye first the kingdom of God. And so I took that phrase very seriously. I had a boyfriend who was against my faith. He didn't want me to, to be baptized, but I went ahead anyway. I had fears at the time. I, I was afraid that maybe if I got baptized, I will lose my boyfriend, or maybe I will lose my other friends or maybe my parents were object. But somehow or other, I stayed firm. I went ahead to get baptized. That strength, I think, that strength come from God. It cannot be myself. I, I was in Texas, you know. I, I, that, that was God who brought me. Brought me. And, and, and in fact, Jesus promised me in Matthew 28, 20, He will always be with me. I, I believe that I have a purpose on this earth. I have to do the assignment that is given me so I can bring honour and glory to my God, the God that I serve. And in fact, I have just um, published my first book, you know, Inspired Poems to Inspire, and it's on sale in Amazon.com. My hope for the future is in, the, in my Maker, who is coming soon. And I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for him to come to see him face to face. I would like to say to someone who's struggling with grief is that, the transformer of hearts that I worship is the only one who can mend relationships. The only one who can change your paradigm shift to bless others through your grief. So hold on, hold on to it. Don't give up, hold on. Because God will comfort you and He will do things in His mysterious way that you don't even know. Yeah, and, and just, 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 just don't give up, don't give up. You have a life to live. You still have a life to live. Just, just carry on and hold on to God. I did. So can you.